hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this course linear algebra with python stroke numpy the theory and demo of it now in this course we are looking at linear algebra to be precise and the reason i say them um, it is with python and numpy is because the course is going to be structured in, in two parts we are going to be having the concepts okay the theory behind linear algebra what linear algebra is all about the concept we have the, the th this theory how to solve this stuff manually how to um, go through the theories and the rest of that and then okay so that's what we have that's the first part and then we have the second part the second part is we are going to practice whatever we've learned in the theory in a manual computation we are going to automate it we are going to automate it with the help of um, the python program language and to be precise with the help of a library called numpy okay so every not everything will be done in numpy most of the things majority of the things will be done in numpy and then um, other ones we are, we are going to use the um the python language itself for it okay so this is a prerequisite for you to go through this course and for you to understand all we are going to learn here you should have a fair knowledge about mathematics okay maybe you're taking python uh maybe you're taking a um, linear algebra as, as one of the courses in um in college or in any um external course you're doing maybe you're taking linear algebra you've done something um in algebra just mathematics in general that's one of the perks and then if you want to follow up with the practical aspect you'd have a fair knowledge of the python program language now even if you don't have good knowledge of the python program language maybe you're, you've studied some other program language before c plus plus any object to enter program language they should be fine with um, this course so first we need to um, explain what is linear algebra now linear algebra is simply consigned with linear equations linear functions and their representations okay um in terms of um vector spaces um and matrices okay that's what we are pleased with looking at when it comes when it comes to linear algebra so the term linear that's the most ca um the most important term the linear so it means everything we are looking at may must be in term in terms of linear functions okay or it, it must be a linear expression so the first thing we are going to study in linear algebra is going to be matrices that's the first thing we are going to study but le let's see generally what we are going to be covering in this course so in this course linear algebra with numpy stroke python we are going to look at matrices we'll look at a um, system of equations we are going to look at determinants we'll look at um, linear combinations vector spaces um dimension and basis i think i okay that is it dimension and basis and then we are going to look at more now this course is going to be structured in different series this is going to be the first series in the first series we are actually going to be considering these two matrices and determinants that's what we are going to be considering in this first series okay then once we are done with this first series we'll come to the second series we're in the second series we are going to be looking at a um, uh, I think system of equations but when we get there I'll let us know which of these we are going to be treating in the second series but system of equations will be um, a good candidate for the second series okay so that's the intro to this course now what we use linear algebra for why are we study linear algebra now for the fact that I'm in captioning it with Python or with NumPy then most of you that are going to be watching this video uh, maybe people that are taking courses in data science okay machine learning or so now linear algebra is one um, field in mathematics that is versatile is applied in too many areas is applied in statistics when it comes to what we call multivariate analysis when it comes to stochastic processes which is actually also used in a um, reinforcement learning which is a branch under machine learning we also go ahead to make use of a um, matrices there okay it's widely used in signal processing linear algebra when it comes to deep learning this is one of the core things we use in deep learning okay linear algebra if you don't understand linear algebra then going into deep learning um, it's going to cause a whole lot of issues for you uh, we apply it in statistics and probability a lot uh, we apply it in s still in statistics and um, least square regression we apply 
um, linear algebra and matrices with precise laws. Computer graphics, wow, linear algebra is so um, dominant in computer graphics, okay. So we have so many areas we apply linear algebra and that's the reason we are setting this part to study linear algebra. Now, I'm going to be using NumPy, I've said it before, and I'm going to be using the Python language. If you want to study the Python language, if you want to follow up deeply with everything I'm going to do, especially when it comes to the practical aspect using the Python language, it will be advised that you go ahead and take any course on Python. Okay, you can you have lots of videos there, lots of written materials there. And I'm going to put in the description um a link to um a series I have on the Python programming language. I covered everything from the beginning. Um, and as, as at when I'm recording this video, that course is still in process. I'm not done with it. So, but if you watch the first few videos, you should be up and uh, you should be good to follow up um, with everything I'm going to do in this series. And again, alongside this, I have another video that is um, another series that is going on. It's purely on um, NumPy. In that case, I'm not concentrating on linear algebra, so I'm treating the NumPy fundamental itself. So I'm still going to explain that here, but you should understand that I have something on the NumPy library if you want something purely on the NumPy library. So that being said, guys, um, um, I'll see you guys in the next video where we are going to be looking at, um, for those of you that will be following up with the practical aspects, the tools we need to install, okay, how to set up our environment so that we can all move ahead but if you want just the theory aspect just the pure math of it you don't want to go into numpy or python then you have to skip the next video and move to the third video because the third video is where we are going to start up with um, the concept of matrices and determinants and also types of matrices so that's it guys for this video um i didn't plan for it to be as long as this but i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye